In this video, we are going to learn how to use generic repository pattern in ASP.NET Core project. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani. Let's get started without any delay. First of all, let's talk about what is repository. Repository is a class where we define our database operations. Example, Category repository will define all database operations related to category and product repository class will define all database operations related to product. Now let's talk about downside of repository pattern. Suppose we have I category repository which have add, update, delete, get by ID and get all methods. And we have another repository name I product repository with same methods. Here we have only two repositories but when project grow bigger, number of repositories will also increase. We have to write these same methods in every repository. To avoid this situation, we can use generic repository pattern. In generic repository pattern, we will create a single repository with type T and pass that T from the user class, means type of repository will define at user class. If we pass category to this repository, then it will behave as category repository. And if we pass product to it, then it will behave like a product repository. Let's understand this concept with actual code. I already have created a project and defined some initial settings like database connectivity. And I also have created these two classes, category and product, and added them to our database. So after this, we are going to create a folder name repositories i will put the link of the source code in the description box so please do not worry about these classes which i have already defined here this one category and this one is product and all the database connectivity so let's focus on our generic repositories so here i will create an interface and let's name it to i generic repository so here right i generic repository repository Sorry. So let's add some methods here. So first one will be boolean type and add and it will okay let's define here it will be a t type it means we are gonna define type in the runtime so and right here where t is class so that's it and here add t bool add t model model and let's name it update okay and one method will be get by id and id and one method will be i enumerable t get all and the last method will be our delete method so it will be bool delete and id so that's it and let's pass here an object, not the ID. So it is in our interface. Now let's implement it. And for that, we will create a class. Let's name it generic repository and it will inherit I generic repository. So let's name is generic repository. It will also be a T type and it will implement this I generic repository. And here also where T is class. 
so let's implement this repository here okay now let's add the functionality here so first one will be okay no 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 first we will define a constructor here and now let's write private db context sorry it was not db context it is database context or context class yeah so the database context ctx and let's pass the ctx here so ctx equals to ctx okay and what happened here okay so our class name is generic repository and it will be defined here not here okay now it will also be here and I have done a terrible mistakes so that's good now let's write here where db set t and let's name it entity or entity equals to null and let's initialize it here so entity equals to new set new db set t and it will be this sorry it will be here ctx dot set and t that's it now let's define this add method so here it will be like this entity dot add model and ctx dot save changes that's it and let's see let's define this bool method but before that we have to define this method which is get by id so it will return return this or we can write entity dot find by id so entity dot find id okay and here we will return entity dot get entity dot to list and here we will write simply entity dot update and it will be a t type sorry model we will pass an object here and write here ctx dot save changes it will return true from here and catch exception ex and return false from here okay and let's copy this code and let's define this method complete here so instead of update we will write add here now update is defined get by id is defined get all is defined but this delete method is not defined so here where obj equals to let's define try catch block here 
try and double tap so inside this catch block right here exception ex and we will return a false from here so return false okay now where obj equals to get by id and here model dot model dot id okay now let's see what we can do we cannot find object here so let's add entity dot remove model and entity dot save sorry not entity ctx dot save changes and return true from here written true so that's it we have defined all of our methods so let's open this program.cs class and here we will write builder.services.transient i generic repository it will be a category type comma generic repository it will also be an category type category and here so that's it and let's paste this line here and let's change category to product product now here we are resolving the dependency of product repository okay fine now let's move to the controller and here open the home controller and here let's write private read only i generic repository it will be category and it will be category repository next one will be our product repository product repository okay now let's create a method no no first we have to add this line i generic repository product repository and add one more line it will be our category repository and one will be product repository so one is category repository and another is product repository okay and here category repository equals to category repository so let's add our method here okay let's define it here on the top of all the method public okay let's copy it we are not gonna waste any more time so here name it add where category equals to new category and name equals to category one 
back category repository dot add category now product equals to new product and category id will be category dot id product name will be let's name it product one that's it now we will use product repository dot add product that's it and here let's write return content and it will give us a ok message now let's add another method i accent result get category get categories written category written json category repository dot get all and here we will get products just change it to product repositories so here you can see we have a convenience we are not creating two repositories we have created only one repository which is igeneric repository and we can reuse our code so isn't it a good feature okay let's run this project and let's see so let's run this method which is add and it is inside home controller so we will write home slash add and let's see what happens it has written ok so let's check get categories yeah categories has added and let's see products yes product has also added I will put the source code in the description box so make sure to download from there if you need and that was all about generic repositories and how to use them in our ASP.NET Core MVC project. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. It really encourages me to create a new content. Okay, guys, see you next time.